Good morning. This is All India Radio Kohima. The morning news are read by Jonas Yantan. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has said that India is moving towards becoming a global manufacturing hub with growing cost-effective manufacturing capabilities, global standard, comparative environment and ease of doing business. The Prime Minister, after laying the foundation stone of C-295 MW Transport Aircraft Manufacturing Project at Vadodara in Gujarat yesterday, said this project will be a milestone in achieving goals of Admanirpar Parat. He said with this Make in India initiative, the country will acquire capabilities to make transport aircraft and in future will be able to make even passenger aircrafts in India. Modi said this project will help in achieving the goal of defence products manufacturing worth $25 billion and defence export worth $5 billion. He said the transport aircraft which will be manufactured at Vadodara will not only give power to the army but also create a new ecosystem in the country. It will be India's first transport aircraft manufacturing project worth around 22,000 crore rupees. C-295MW transport aircrafts will be manufactured in India by private companies, Airbus, Defence and Data Consortium. India will be the 12th such country which have capabilities of transport aircraft manufacturing. Governor of Nagaland and Assam Jagdish Mukhi said that the people of Northeast are good and cooperative but has very slow developmental story. Speaking as the chief guest at the foundation stone laying ceremony of Durga Mandir at Gaudam Basti in Katkati, Assam, the governor said that in the last eight years under ACTIS policy, the region is progressing rapidly. Noting the pace of progress in terms of startups and agriculture by the Northeast people, Jagdish was optimistic that results would be seen within the next five years and that Assam, Nagaland and other states will not be behind anyone. Rastriya Ekta Divas on National Unity Day commemorating the birth anniversary of Sadar Vallabhai Patel is being observed today across the country. It is observed on this day every year to foster and reinforce our dedication to preserving and strengthening the unity, integrity and security of our nation. Union Education Minister Tramintra Patan will lead the unity run on the occasion from Delhi University. The celebration will also witness Rastriya Ekta Divas pledge taking ceremony near Kanti statue adjacent to Vice Regal Lodge and an address by the Education Minister. Special exhibits on the life of Sadar Patel will be displayed at Jawahar Park Vice Regal Lodge to commemorate one of the most revered sons of the soil and learn from his life. Nagaland will also join the occasion with a main ceremony at State Civil Secretariat at 10.30 a.m. The 37th Battalion BSF yesterday organised a motorcycle rally marking the National Unity Day. The officiating commandant of 37th Battalion BSF, Sunil Kumar Mishra, flagged off the rally comprising of 81 personnel, including four gazetted officers, 15 subordinate officers and 62 others. The rally started from the battalion headquarters at Chetema in Kohima to the war cemetery and by covering a total distance of 12 kilometers. The main objective of this rally was to make people aware about National Unity Day and also inspire our youth and bring back memories of great men. The Director General News of All India Radio, Vasuta Gupta, will arrive Kohima today on a two-day official visit. During her stay, she will hold a meeting with officials of AIR Kohima this evening and review the working of RA New Kohima tomorrow. Gupta has been touring the different northeastern states for the past few days to assess the functioning of Prasa Parati and its organizations in the region. A Memorandum of Understanding MOU between FIFA, Ministry for Education and All India Football Federation was signed for football for schools program at Navi Mumbai in Maharashtra yesterday. This is an ambitious program run by FIFA and UNESCO aiming to contribute to the development, education and empowerment of around 700 million children worldwide. Under this MOU, efforts will be made to popularise football among the students. Union Education Minister Tramendra Patan and FIFA President 
Kiani Infantino signed the agreement. That is all we have in this morning's bulletin. Have a good day.